My name is Andy Whiteford, I'm Venue Operations Manager for Emirates Arena in Sir Chris Hoy Velodrome. It's located next to the Commonwealth Games Village and Celtic Park, where the opening ceremony will be held. It was a £113 million venue and includes the Sir Chris Hoy Velodrome, the Emirates Arena with a 200 metre indoor running track and it's been open to the public since October 2012. It's a very popular venue. It's very well used by the local community and has been since it's opened. Local schools in the area use the venue, both Velodrome and the arena. And there's also a very well used public gym and dance studio spaces that's used for various fitness classes. The Circus Hoy Velodrome has a capacity for 4,500 spectators. It's one of the busiest velodromes in the world at the moment. During the Commonwealth Games, the Emirates Arena will play host to two different sports, track cycling in the Sir Chris Hoy Velodrome and badminton in the Emirates Arena. It will also be a training venue for three sports, track cycling, badminton and boxing. I'm Amanda Morrison, I'm one of the assistant cluster managers here at the Emirates Arena and in this arena for the Commonwealth Games we'll be holding the badminton competition. There will be six courts laid on top of the wooden floor that we've bought from the London 2012 Olympics. The courts are comprised of Taraflex which then be carpeted round. The capacity of the main arena is six and a half thousand which I'm sure will be full for the badminton. Adjacent to the main arena is the sports halls here which are widely multifunctional and are open for the community to use as well as the main arena. The Emirates Arena was built in a brownfield site in the east end of Glasgow, an area that was very much underused. It is now a very popular site and on the opening weekend alone it saw over 10,000 visitors. So already we've been bringing new people into a previously underused part of Glasgow and hopefully the profile of the venue will be raised and will attract many more visitors in the future.